Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Crash Bash. We are on to the third warp room now, and we're gonna start off with Enbolism. Because it seems like every warp room has all the same types of games as the previous warp room, plus one more type of game. Now, I already tried this once. And believe it or not, I actually failed at getting the trophy. Oh yeah, the instructions. Use your ship to deflect the balls away from your goal. Beware of engines attacks. Win by being the last player standing. Same controls, except we can't grab the balls anymore. Collect the force field from your corner posts. Use it to repel balls away from your goal. It took me forever to grab one of these before, and now I just grabbed one right away. That's ridiculous. But yeah, so this power-up will reflect the balls here. But it took me numerous games to even grab a single one of those before. But yeah, so we've got Engine to deal with now, who just shoots balls all over the place. They had to have him in the game some way. And if he wasn't going to be a playable character or a boss, then they chose this way. It is so nice that I'm actually able to get this power up now. It like forever eluded me before. But yeah, I already failed at getting the trophy here and that attempt took a while. So I'm just like, forget it, I'm starting the video over. So Cortex is out, and we are actually in really good shape here. Except that Koala Kong has way too many points right now. Yeah, and you need to lose 20 points to get knocked out on this one, because they know that a lot of balls are going to be going past you when Engine is involved. Three, two. So we actually won that one. I am surprised, happy, and impressed. <laughs> yeah, that reflector thing is definitely not a perfect shield. Stuff will still go past you if it comes at you hard enough. But it still helps a lot. Yeah, this attempt is going much better than the last one. Really, it all comes down to, well, one, can you get the reflector, but more importantly, can you deal with Engine? And thankfully, I have learned how to handle Engine. Oh, great, the only person I'm going up against has a reflector. Well, that sucks. There wasn't really much I could do there. And he was guaranteed to get the reflector, because only he could reach those corners, and only I could reach mine, and it appeared on his side.
Alright, two of them got past me there. It's not looking good for Koala Kong. I'll tell you that. Looking pretty good for Cortex, though. Let's fix that. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier to take out your side opponents in this because of the reflector. That's really useful at taking care of the people to your side. Gosh darn it, he got that before me. This is gonna be helpful. A reflector and engine at the same time. Yes, another reflector. Cortex is gone, but so am I. Gosh darn it. He was down to two. This is legitimately a really hard one. Now there's four types of each mini game, and this is our third ball game. So that means there's only one more type after this, and I remember what it's like too. How do they beat me to that? I mean, they're computers, so of course they have better reactions than me, but still... Alright, I got another one of these. Looks like my main threat right now is Koala Kong. Ruse out. Koala Kong is hurting. Just me and Cortex now, and now I have the means to defend myself quite easily. I still have so many points, too. We did it! Was that the last one we needed? No, that was just number two. Of course it was. Finally got a point on Cortex after Koala Khan already lost half of his. Cortex is definitely the main threat here. The two guys on the sides are hurting. Koala Kong's out. Cortex and I are tied. Rilla Roo was really helping me out there. 
Because I was ready to deal with the reflector stuff. Cortex wasn't. Oh my gosh, stop scoring on me, please. Oh my gosh, this is suddenly getting too chaotic. No, he has the reflector on his side. Well, I'm screwed. If he has the reflector on his side, I'm done. Three, two, one, go. This is a long, hard-fought battle. Are you kidding me? Alright, I really need to focus on getting Cortex out of here. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I don't really see much I can do. It just seems like it's inevitable that he's gonna be the last one left. Alright, got my reflector. I don't even know if I'm calling it the right thing, but I don't care. Rilla Ruse out. Koala Kong's about to be out. We are beating Cortex by a lot. Alright, Koala Kong's out, but he's reflecting back at us. That is a problem. Okay, we got it. We won. That took 12 minutes, but we did it. I would've been so upset if Cortex would've won that. Ugh. Anyways, that was just the trophy too. Time for Milt Panic, our third of four Panic minigames. Charge into other players to knock them off the ice. Beware of Uka Uka's beam. Win by being the last player standing. So it probably would have been Aku Aku in, in, as the item in the other game, even if you were the bad guy, and it's probably Uka Uka here, no matter who you are. So yeah, same controls as normal. Uh, no lightning this time, just the weight. Three. Okay then. Go. So yeah, Uka Uka likes to melt the stage. Come to think of it, I think he melted stuff in Crash to Insanity as well. And the beam he's using here to melt stuff. Oh gosh, I'm a snowball now. But yeah, the beam he's using to melt stuff is what he uses in Crash 3, so... Three, this is kind of a callback to Crash 3, and it kind of gets called back in Crash to Insanity. Crash wins. At least I think he melt stuff in Crash to Insanity. I know he's frozen at one point. But you have to free him. He doesn't free himself, so maybe he doesn't melt stuff. I really can't remember. Really? Really? I couldn't get back up from that? Cortex wins. <laughs> Anyways, let's give this another try. You stay away from me, Koala Kong. Crash 
wins. Oh, Cortex won both of those that I lost? That's not a good thing. Let's take him out right away. Never mind, let's just hope he doesn't win. This is gonna suck. Are you serious? That was dumb. That was actually dumb. Like the last second he got it handed off. How did I fall? Whatever. So Koala Kong is out. I kind of wanted to hit R Rillaru off there, but I was afraid I'd knock myself off like I've done many times. So there's another win for me. Three, two, one, go! Nice little chain reaction there. Rillaru is tiny, so this should be easy if I can actually hit him. I can never seem to hit them when they're tiny. Which, of course, is probably due to their smaller hitbox. There we go, that works. Thankfully, uh, uh, Rillaru wasn't able to recover, and I didn't miss Cortex. Either of those things could have been really bad. Oh, well, I've won now. Crash wins. Give me my trophy. Alright, two trophies down, time for El Pogo Loco. Now, similar to how Engine was introduced as a hazard, another classic Crash Boss is going to be introduced as a hazard here. Encircle areas with your color to capture the center. Break the special crates to turn your squares into points. Win by having the highest score when time runs out. So, encircling stuff still captures the center, plus we've got crates this time, so both methods. Same controls, missiles and speed boots. But we also have Ripper Roo here in his Crash 2 outfit. Even though we're in a Crash 3 place. Okay, so we need to get the crates to get points, but we also claim whatever we encircle, we just don't get points for it until we get the crate. That makes sense. This doesn't seem too difficult, even if we are losing right now. Gotta watch out for that TNT, though. That will stun you, and that thing that Rillaroo 
just stepped on is pretty helpful because it goes it claims all the spaces in all four directions. And Real Aru honestly might win this one. I'm winning by two points. And now we're tied. Wow. That sucks, but at least it's not a loss. And we got to see the tie screen. So that's a plus, I guess. Thankfully, I got one of those four arrow things for myself. And that's always nice. Man, it is hard to claim these squares. Someone always steps over them, just like in the previous Pogo minigame. Now we can go fast. This should be easy now, because we're already really far ahead. There we go, we won by a mile. I was not going to let Cortex break that box of mine. I needed that. Yeah, the TNT will stun you if you if you're on it or if you go near it. Yeah, like if you're on a square adjacent to it, it'll get you. Of course he put one right in front of me, right as I got my speed shoes. Why wouldn't he? Man, I could really use some more points, but when the boxes aren't by you, there's not much you can do. That was not enough. Gosh darn it. These rounds take so long too, and they're actually being hard. This could end up being a big waste of time, and that scares me. I hate it when they just take one block out of what I'm claiming. Like, right as I'm about to claim it. Yeah. <laughs> 
we can't be letting Cortex get points here. He's already got too many. So does Koala Kong. We've got to stop both of them. Of course, Rillaroo sniped that while I was stunned. All right, we're getting a lot of points now. I think we've got this. There's not a ton of time left. Yeah, they can't catch up. Of course, we still gotta get one more win on the board to claim that trophy. Three, two, one, go! Even with the speed shoes, I can't get these stupid boxes. Like, they always catch up to me. Like, they're always right in my way. All right, I just got a good amount there. Look at poor Koala, uh, yeah, poor Koala Khan. He had so few points there. I'm glad I'm getting those arrows. Those are saving my butt. At this point, it seems like it's just a good idea to follow Cortex so he can't get a lot of points. And as long as no one's following me, I can get plenty of points when a box just so happens to appear next to me. And we did it! We win! We won the game! No, there's still a lot of game left to go. Up next is Snow Bash. So our third Bash game. There's only one more version left of all four of these that we've played this video so far. We've done three out of four for all of them. The third one for this one. Avoid waking the penguin. Win by being the last standing or having the most health when time runs out. Press circle to pick up crates. Press again to throw. Uh, press square. Yeah, it's this, all the same controls. Same crates, same items. Yeah, all the same stuff, but this is icy now. And there's a penguin. That you do not want to wake up. Because then he goes spinny like that. Is this just a random penguin or is this the Penta Penguin from Crash Team Racing? Speaking of which, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel is coming out very soon. I'm recording this on June 5th. So yeah, it's only a couple weeks away. Crash Team Racing Nitro Field is out. I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, I need that immunity. 
Thank you. No, I ran out of immunity just when he threw that at me. That sucks. Three, two, one, go! Just me and Cortex again, but I have a lot more health than him this time. Hey, come here, penguin. Get this guy for me, or I can do it. If you won't spin him, I'll spin him. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I need to get some of this Wumpa fruit. Nice, I nitroed him by spinning that crate into it. Give me that immunity. It always comes down to just me and Cortex. I can, yeah, defeat him with a spin there. Easy enough. Just need one more win. Three, two, one, go. And we will be done with the familiar games. Well, technically the... Technically the tank one would also be familiar. Get rid of your speed shoes. Oh, hey, I'm dead. And Koala Kong's on the board. Three, two, one, go. But can I just call him Car? Well, want to stay away from Cortex now. And these two are killing each other. Cortex isn't even doing anything. How pitiful of him. Oh, I just got the slow thing. Oh, I'm so close to dead. But it doesn't matter, I just need to avoid him and I've won. And he's so far away from me that I have no threat. Okay, give me my trophy. Dumb AI is dumb AI. On to Metal Fox. Hopefully this one won't be as hard as the other tank one. It probably will be. Destroy all of your opponent's tanks. Win by being the last standing or having the most health when time runs out. All the same controls. We also have bombs now. Use the lobbing bomb to attack from a distance. What is the bomb button? It doesn't say. Three, two, one, go. Am I to assume that it's X? Cause that is the unused button? Or it's just your normal shot, but yeah, the bombs can go over walls. But yeah, so this stage has a whole bunch of configurations. 
and it just keeps changing and if it changes in the right way I think you can even get on top of the walls but yeah this one seems a lot easier either that or I just got lucky Okay, so it can't lift you onto the walls. That's what happens if it tries to go up with you on it. How did I miss him there? Whatever. Three, two, one, go! It's gonna be really weird when I go to get the Dark Sides cutscenes. Cause then there'll be people here other than Crash Cortex, Koala Kong, and Rillaroo. Cortex wins. <laughs> I guess each character has their own set three rivals. Two, one, go. Because I know it didn't just randomly give me these characters, because these are the characters that I would always fight when I played through this game a long time ago. Oh, I totally wasted that bomb because he killed Cortex anyways. Oh, I had a bomb there? I didn't realize that. Ooh, it's just me and Rillaru. We win! Oh gosh, Cortex has two wins already. We need to take him out. I wasn't paying enough attention to him. Really? That went up right in front of me? So that I hit myself? Alright, Cortex is out. We don't need to worry now. They're also all basically dead. Yeah, we won. We got our trophy. They pretty much all killed themselves there. And now we get to check out a new type of minigame. With the Dash minigames, we got Dot Dash. Finish as many of the set number of laps as possible. Win by being the first over the finish line or the player who is in the lead when the time runs out. So rotate your ship to face the desired direction and R1 to accelerate. Okay, R1 is accelerate, not X. Well then. Square for a speed boost, and circle to fire a missile. And Wumpa Fruit to gain extra fuel for speed boost, and there's the missiles. Three, two, one, go. Okay, and you do not want to point in the direction that you want to drive. The way it works is you pretty much just want to keep tapping right to keep turning right. This is going to be so easy. And if you fall off like that, you don't die or anything, you just respawn real quick. And you can see how many laps you have left to go up on top there, a lot, uh, right under our boost meter. I just really wanted to take Cortex out there. 
I wanted to hit someone with a missile. Crash wins. Yeah, so this is gonna be an easy trophy. Three, two, one. Do these missiles home on at all, or do you have to shoot straight at them? I think you have to shoot straight at them. They also bounce off stuff, it looks like. Yeah, they bounce. I'm not sure if the bounce is homed. Maybe it is. And there we go, yet another win. Yeah, the trophy is gonna be super easy for this. The gem and the crystal? I don't know, maybe not so much, but... The trophy is easy here. I like how you can also spin characters out by squeezing them between two cars. I might not like that if I get squeezed, but... It is kind of cool to see that happen. Okay, yeah, there's no normal homing on the missile. And the bounce isn't homing either. You can also knock people way out of the way if you ram into them. And I- did I just get Mario Karted? Or Casey does, I say, when I play Mario Kart with Wild Shiny Kirby. Not that any of you know who Casey is. But that became a thing for us. Okay, I just barely won that one. After how much I was getting knocked around. Anyways, we don't have enough for the boss yet, because we need one more gem. So, we will take that on next time. For now, we're just going to save. And in the next video, we'll start going for the gems. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.